Hi, it's me, the guy you're about to watch in a video, which honestly, I don't know why you're doing that, but thanks. And also a huge thank you to all of the names on the screen right now. These are all of my patrons, all of my Patreon supporters, and without them, I couldn't do what I do. So massive thank you. Please check out my Patreon if you feel like it, but other than that, enjoy the video. All right, I've turned my aircon off. I'm gonna melt, so let's make this quick. Hey, what's Damo? And I get asked a lot, like a lot, a lot, by my friends and by subscribers. So you guys, hi. Hello, how you doing? Welcome to my video. Ever since I started doing drag makeup, I get asked a lot what you need to do drag. And I'm assuming by that they mean what is the absolute minimum, what is the basic equipment that you need to put drag makeup on your face and have it look decent. So uh, rather than answering that question a million more times, I thought why not film a video about it. So I've actually compiled a list of 16 makeup items, some of which are even optional, and then uh, you've got about three or four other things on top of that that you need to do a basic face of drag that looks at least like this. I know I'm not the best drag artist ever, don't come for me, but I don't spend much on it because I don't make anything from it. But yeah, I started out about a year ago and I remember looking for and trying to gather all the things that I needed to do a basic face. And I thought it would be nice to just kind of compile that into one list for you guys. So if you are looking to start drag and you want to know where to start, you want cheap options, you want just pretty much the absolute minimum that you can get away with, this video is exactly for you. Let's go. I'm ready. I hope you're all also ready. Now, firstly, I know you want to look good, but, and I wish more people would actually consider this, you need to smell good too. <laughs> no one's gonna tip you if you smell like hot garbage. Just saying. Luckily, my friends at Scentbird have you covered. So this video is actually sponsored by Scentbird and massive thank you to them. And I am actually really excited about this product because it is really cool. Let me tell you. So what Scentbird is, is actually a subscription service for colognes and fragrances, and they send you out a new smell every single month. That sounds weird that people send you a smell, but trust me, it's a good thing. Cause I don't know about you, but I get sick of smells really, really quickly. So if I buy this big bottle of a fragrance, I'd never use the whole thing and it ends up being a waste of money. So I love the idea of being sent smaller, yet quite sizable amounts of different fragrances each month so you can keep it fresh. Yes, okay, and for $14.95 a month, yes! In case you couldn't tell by the title of this video and just everything that's going on, I, I like saving money. That's $14.95 USD for my Australian subscribers. But also, it's not even $14.95 if you use my code HEYODEMO for 30% off. Link is in the description. Check it out. Let's get into this bag. It's good quality packaging. Yeah, so far so good. There was a lovely carry case in here that I have cut the strings of, but that is okay. I never use the straw strings on these anyway. <laughs> these are actually stunning. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, bitch. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, look, and it twists up. The future is now. Oh my god, the colors. I didn't expect to be so taken with the packaging. This is not me overreacting. This is honest. And look how easy it is to replace them. That is the coolest. And that is actually, that is a lot. I don't think I'd go through that in a month. So you can start saving and stocking. So you can, if you like one in particular, you can come back to it. Oh my God, I'm gonna butcher this. Uh, Amouage Jubilation XXV Man. And uh, let's give it a smell. I think I was meant to tell them which ones I wanted and I forgot. So they've just sent me a random selection. I'm here for it. Oh. Oh, that's fresh. That it, that's the first thing that comes to mind, it's just fresh. Oh, beach, that's fresh. This one is Tommy Bahama Maritime Deep Blue. Ooh, I like the name, I'm in for the name. Oh, I like that. I, yeah, I get that deep blue. It feels very, oh, it's very relaxing. And then lastly, I have been sent Vince Camuto, Camuto, Cam, Vince Virtue. Mm. Ooh, that one's so different to the others. That one always almost reminds me of food. That one's very sweet. I like that one, but I feel like I kind of want to eat myself. Scentbird has over 450 fragrances and colognes to choose from, and there's like designer brands like Tom Ford, Gucci, Prada, I believe. Let me double check that. Yeah. Yeah, as well as indie labels, so you can try something different every month, and literally for only $15.95, no, that's not 
that's not it. $14.95, even cheaper than I thought. For $14.95 USD, and if you use my code HEYODEMO, you get 10% off. No, 30% off. You get 30% off. You get 30% off your first month if you use the code HEYODEMO, so that's just 10 USD. And you get sent a case, and it's pretty. No, the blue one's prettier. It's pretty. Okay, th okay. I think that's all I have to say about that. Love it. Highly recommend. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sentbo for sponsoring this video. Now on to the makeup. Now, as I said before, I have 16 items and some are optional, I'll let you know which. And I've also tried to even replace some other items that other queens might use with things. So some things have multiple purposes, but I'll let you know. We're gonna go into it. Yeah. First item is primer. Now this is actually one of the optional ones cause I'm not even convinced that primer works that well. I like the feel of it. I like kind of how it makes my skin look, so I use it. But as I said, it is optional. Like if you aren't a primer person, if you don't think it does anything, or if you just don't want to spend a little bit of that extra money, this would be one of the first things I'd drop because you can still get the same effect without a primer. I just find that my skin's quite oily, so it does benefit from some sort of base. Second, we have a glue stick, and this is for gluing down your brows. You can shave your brows off if you want, which I did. Here's a video of me doing it if you would like to see. It, these are, they're still not back. They're kind of, they're getting there, but these are drawn on. Uh, but yeah, glue stick for gluing down your brows, literally just a generic glue stick. Uh, I heard that the ones with the color in them actually take longer to dry. So ever since I heard that, I bought the clear ones and I think that ended up being true. But yeah, this, this is just cheap. Next is foundation. Definitely not optional. You need foundation. And something that really bothers me with most drag queen little bit I tried. Let me try again. Something that really bothers me with most drag queen tutorials about makeup is the quote, cover girl don't cover boy. And that's meant to mean that, you know, your average run-of-the-mill drugstore makeup is not good enough or thick enough to really give you the right effect. And I've even heard a drag queen actually say that in a tutorial, but I use NYX foundation. It's called Total Control and it's quite good because you can actually like layer it pretty well because it's just a very liquidy foundation. Uh, it's good shit. It's good shit. But I've never had an issue with coverage for foundation and I've used mostly drugstore brands but I know that I would prefer to use something like a Kryolan TV paint stick. Ooh, fancy. But I am broke. So I use this and I get this. So... It, it's not that bad. Next thing you need is a cream contour color. Now this is actually just a concealer that is in a, a darker shade. That's literally all it is. And I use this for my contours and... My mom's making a smoothie. So I use this for my contours. If you don't know what a contour is, it's like this thing here. I kind of have a light one on today. And this is to make the, your cheekbone kind of, not your cheekbone, below your cheekbone sink in so that your cheekbone will pop and to change the shape of your face to look like a woman. This is, as I said, a concealer, but it works. And you could get multiple colors, like you could get a deep one and then a medium one, so you can do more of a transition. But I've done my makeup with just this in the past. And as long as you do a lot of blending, a lot of blending, it does come out okay. Also, this is one of the products that doubles up. I also use this for my brows. I actually draw the shape of my brows with this, and then I actually set it with some of my powder contour, which we'll get into, 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 into a, in, in a second. But yeah, good, good shit. You need this. Not optional. No, no. Unless you were to just do powder contour and brows, but I don't think that would come out that good. Next is Clown White. If you don't know what Clown White is, it's basically the opposite to the cream contour. It's a cream white paste, and you use this for your highlights. I know that seems pretty ridiculous. You're like, but I'm not white. I am white. I'm pretty white, but I'm not pure white. So this is why this is my highlight, because it needs to be a step above what I'm actually doing. And it won't come out as pure white at the end because you're gonna blend it in with everything. And then when you put a translucent setting powder over the top, that'll turn it down a little bit as well. But this is very useful, not only for your highlights, but for doing maybe small details in white, maybe doing something on the inside of your eye, which again, it, it's still probably just a highlight, but definitely for your nose highlight and that little white dot that you see queens do, bam. This shit, real good. Under the brows, oh, real good, nice. And you can also do fancy patterns and also you can use it as like an eye primer because color shows up better on white than it does on skin. It's got, it's got a million and one uses. Also, it will last you forever. I have had this for years and I still have not run out and they're cheap, they're, mm, good shit. This is Meron, by the way, mm, essential. Next we have setting powder, which I actually just mentioned will 
my own hair was stuck to me and I was very offended. Next we have setting powder, which I actually just mentioned will tone down your highlights, but that's not all it's for. As the name suggests, it's also for setting. Wow, okay. So basically, if you don't understand what that means, you've got a bunch of creamy shit on your face that's gonna slide around unless you set it with some powder to dry it out in a way, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's technically correct, but that's what it feels like when I do it. And yeah, uh, if you get a translucent one that has a little bit of color in the powder, that will tone down your highlights and kind of bring up your contours and help it blend all together and make it look a little bit more natural. We're fake women, but you know, we try. Next is the contour powders. Now this is a contour kit. It's got a whole lovely set and um, I love this. I live by this. I use a bunch of these for different things. It's got the darkest one that you use over the top of the not so darkest one to get extra depth on your cheek. And basically I find that this is the real contour. The cream is kind of just marking out where I want it, but then this is where all the blending and the actual niceness happens, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. Also, there's a highlighter in this, like an actual highlighter with a bit of shimmer. So I have listed highlighter as a separate thing because generally you want a good highlighter for doing drag, but if you wanted to cut costs on the highlighter, you could use this one instead, which I clearly have done in the past. And also this dark powder here, this one right, right there, yeah. That's the one that I use to set the, um, Concealer. That's the one that I used to set the concealer that I used to draw my brows. So literally just the dark concealer and this, and then I end up using a bit of liquid liner to do some like hair looking things, and that's my brows done. Next we've got a black eyeshadow, and this is pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna need it for smoky eyes. You're gonna need it to set wet black things. So maybe putting it over the top of your liquid eyeliner I've mentioned, but still have not listed. It is just a kind of essential. It's also just, just good, just good, just to have it. But I guess, I guess you could not, but you really probably should. And to contrast that, we have white eyeshadow next. Now this is definitely necessity, definitely necessity, definitely a necessity. Mm -hmm. Cause you need this to set the clown white because if you just leave that all creamy and shit, it's not gonna look great. But when you try and do actual white details with the clown white, things that aren't just highlights on your cheek, like if you want white eyes, you need to set it with this instead of the translucent setting powder because the translucent setting powder it's translucent and it will dull your white. Now this isn't the best thing for setting. You can get like transparent setting powders and white setting powders and all of that, but this is cheap. This, I, I would even tell you the brand, but it, I, no, it was from eBay and I probably wouldn't even recommend this one. Just get a nice white eyeshadow. Next we have another optional and that's actually an eyeshadow palette. And you might be thinking, how is that optional? Well, if you wanted to be pretty basic, you could just do a black and white look. And I mean, well, that doesn't even have to be basic. You could be brilliant with a black and white look, but you don't really need a whole eyeshadow palette. I would heavily recommend one so you can actually have some fun. And if you do get one, I recommend something like a rainbow palette so it gives you lots to play with. Next we have mascara, which is actually still kind of optional, but not really, like you probably should have it. But if you just wanted to do false eyelashes, you could get away without wearing mascara. I've forgotten to put it on in the past, but it does look better because it just gives you more volume and kind of blends your lashes to the fake lashes. So yeah, mascara, it's not that expensive. Just get one. Whoa, bye. And then next we have the false eyelashes, which I would say are optional because if you have really nice eyelashes, maybe you can get away with just mascara. If you're going for a really fishy natural drag, I don't know. But like, I personally, you need some lashes. It opens up the eyes. It really exaggerates the right features. Just get a pair of lashes. Don't get these because these are old and gummy. You can reuse them, hot money saving tip, but don't reuse them as long as I do. <laughs> also eyelash glue for you know, gluing the lashes on. Sometimes lashes come with glue, sometimes they don't, make sure you check. Next we have the infamous liquid eyeliner. I've mentioned it a couple of times and that's because it's really useful. <laughs> so you wanna get a nice, hopefully waterproof liquid eyeliner and then I prefer the one that has this sort of weird spongy tip thing rather than uh, a brush. It, I'd show you, but it just looks like a brush, but it is in fact a sponge. So it's a little bit more firm and it's easier to do proper straight lines and details. Shush email, I'm making a video. Why did I sing it my email? So yeah, black eyeliner, good for obviously doing eyeliner. And also, as I said, doing like hair details in your brows. I love doing that, that's kind of my style. Uh, but you know, make it your own, do what you want with it. You can also, if you want to do like an extreme look, use it as a lip liner, you know. In a pinch, it can be used for anything that needs to be black, basically. 
so liquid liner yo you could do pencil liner but i personally prefer liquid and then if you do pencil liner you need a pencil sharpener as well so that adds an extra item so i would recommend liquid and also liquid just looks better it's normally darker as well and normally sets by itself as well it's just better if you're gonna pick one just pick liquid next we have lipstick and you can get away with just having one lipstick if you really need to but i would suggest get something fun get something real fun like this because you know it's drag it's fun just just be go get big or go home you know you know that saying that people say do it i've got this nyx blue liquid suede and i love this one because it's really bright but what i actually do with it is i use a little bit of the clown white put it in the center of the lip and blend that out then I like to actually get a dark blue eyeshadow and blend that in from the outside, which helps the lip look more round. So if you were to get, you know, an eyeshadow palette, think about that as well. Maybe that you want to use those eyeshadows on your lips, maybe that you want to use them for anything other than your eyes. But uh, yeah, I like to use this one most of the time because I'm very basic with my color choices. Also, when looking at lipstick, there's different types to consider. You can get like matte, you can get shiny, you can get liquid, you can get like the, the stick, whatever the hell that's called. And you know, you just gotta figure out what you like, really, which uh, is gonna be a challenge. But my personal preference is a matte liquid. Do with that what you will. Next we've got the highlighter and this is kind of optional because you do need highlighter, but if you get a contour palette that has highlighter in it that you're happy with, Maybe don't worry about it if you want to save a bit of money. But I really like this one. This is the NYX Holographic and it comes out like a kind of almost bluish thing. Hold on, I'll see if I can... It's, it kind of shows up in the lid a little bit. It's it's hard. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard to show you. It's got a blue sheen to it though. It's not technically holographic, but it's technically pretty. And our very last item is actually also optional and that is a setting spray. Now the reason I say this is optional, I personally need a setting spray and hairspray. But the reason I say this is optional is because you could just use hairspray if you wanted to, or if you're not really intending on performing, maybe you just want to take a picture and then wash it off. You don't really need to set it, uh, but it does also feel quite nice to spray setting spray on your face. And also I like to use heading spray, heading spray? Help me. Also I like to use setting spray with my highlighters to help them pop a little bit more. So you dip the brush into the highlighter first, then spray it with the setting spray, then put it on, pop. Yeah. So I guess it, it is pretty damn useful and I would recommend it, but really you don't need it. I've done looks without it and I've survived. And that's it for the makeup. Cool. What else do you need though? Well, you need brushes. I would recommend getting maybe a 16 or 32 piece cheap set off Amazon or eBay and then replace the brushes as you need, like upgrade them when you realize which ones you like. That way you're not gonna run out and spend a whole shit ton of money on a set of brushes and go, wow, I don't even use half of these. I actually bought an eBay set, I think it was like a 32 brush set from eBay, and I think it was $16. I still use some of those brushes because they're fine. And also I think I've only upgraded about five actually. So I use most of those brushes. But yeah, I only just very recently started getting better brushes. I was fine with the eBay ones for a very long time. So don't worry too much about your brushes. The only thing that you really need to look out for is brushes where the bristles fall out on your face. That, they're too terrible. Don't get $2 brushes, especially if it's $32 for $2, there's, that's a bad sign. And also a beauty blender. Um, where's my beauty blender? So this is my current beauty blender. You're meant to change them every three months, I think, so you don't get bacteria and all of that good shit, because you do wet them to use them. You just kind of fill them up with water, they expand and become spongy, and you use it to blend your cream shit together. It's great. And here's just a handful of brushes to look at. Uh, these are, I guess you could say my favorite brushes, because these are the ones I keep in my little on-the-go makeup bag, and these are the ones that I use to do natural, like, just everyday makeup. And yeah, yeah, they're brushes, and I literally two of these are actually expensive. The rest are all really cheap ones, and I'm fine with it. Oh yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. Like, if you want to do drag makeup, that is pretty much all you need to get started. Uh, you can get all of that in Australia for under $200 if you're smart about it. So go for it if you like that. Uh, and yeah, I, I can't really think of anything else I want to let you know. Obviously, you know, that's not all there is to drag. There's still the whole look if you want to go full into drag. But if you want to get started in the makeup of it, this is a cheap, easy way to do it and I hope it helps. If you like this video you should subscribe because I make other ones sometimes. Gonna do more makeup soon I swear I'm actually just you know depressed.
but not so much now because I actually have a boyfriend who makes me happy. I'm so fucking gay. But uh, yeah, subscribe if you would like to see more videos. Let me know in the comments if you have any tips for other people or what you thought of these tips. Did I teach you anything? Are you going to start drag? Just like have a conversation with me. I, I cry because no one cares. Oh, it's kind of true. Other than that though, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, fuck off. That is not where shaving should be. Oh, Ew. okay. Oh, it looks weird again. Uh, this video better get like three views at least. Can we get two likes on this video? Two likes and I'll shave the other eyebrow. I'm just gonna assume we got two likes. Fuck, it would be sad if we didn't, hey. Oh, oh wow, oh, oh wow, cool.